it's Tamika. I wanted to share with you guys um, a mini haul, and I also wanted to share with you the swap packaging that I came up with for the Halloween pocket letter swap that I'm hosting. It turned out really, really cute, and I wanted to put one together with you guys, and so here we go. Um, I stopped at Michael's real quick on my errand runs, and I saw that they had the Christmas color, um, like the Christmas stuff out, a little bit of it. And I love these flowers. They're good for they're good for a lot of things, but I like them on cards. So I will be mailing out my Christmas cards and using these. They are relatively flat, um, so they can mail a lot easier than, of course, the dimensional cards that I usually do. And these are from the Michaels Dollar Fifty bin. So go ahead and check these out. They have them in the on these two colors, and also silver and red, and I believe green. So, the, of course, those look more like poinsettias. I like to get the more neutral tones. That way I can make it whatever I want to make it instead of concentrating just on the holiday colors. So, go ahead and check them out. It's the Michaels Dollar Fifty bin. My next stop was Target to their Bullseye. And they had their autumn stuff. And then they had replenish, replenishings of the stationery. So, I got a couple of things from there. And um, I picked up these metal label tags. And they come with... The little brads. So these are good for your scrapbook albums and things like that or on a card and labeling stuff. Book sides of your mini albums. Really, really nice. And you get four of them for a dollar. And then I purchased this stamp set because I do make um, fall or autumn mini albums. And this says, you know, has a bunch of different sayings on here. This is, you get six of them and they're three dollars, but really, really um, cool set to have. I also got some jute twine in this pretty um, orange man tangerine color and then this pretty blue which is one of my favorite colors of all time and then they had some paper pads so they are three dollars six by six paper pads you get 12 different you get 12 paper six different designs so um, really cute gold I like that stripe I mean even if you don't use it for autumn they'll be good for tags and things like that so I like that and they also picked up this one it's um this it's nine different designs and you get 18 so two of them and again this was three dollars as well pretty colors so I thought those were super cute to have um really cute um so there that was in the autumn section of the target bullseye I then quick ran over to the stationery area and I picked up these mini calendar clips. It's uh, the weekdays and there's eight. There's um, uh, eight of them and then there's a fun day and then they're dollar and they're in pretty, pretty bright colors. I'm making a um, something for one of my nieces so this will come in handy. Also, uh, these gel pens, they're back over there. They're super cute. They're even good for when you're doing craft fairs and you're doing post-it note holders to stick these gel pens in there. Just a little tip for you. Four for one dollar. Six pack of pencils. I love these color designs. I actually got these folders a while ago um, to put in my household binder um, that I use for house the, the house. Uh, as a whole when school starts you know getting everybody's appointments and activities and to keep you know school days outs all that kind of stuff I keep on in a household binder so um, but these pencils um, will go a couple of them will go in the binder but they I bought the folders to go with that the whole collection is really pretty um, also I bought some washi tape in these two designs and this will go along with what I'm making for one of my nieces so they were both a dollar and you get five yards all right over in the miscellaneous section um they had these really cute personalized mason jars now i just um purchased i uh, went to the dollar tree and i purchased a couple of these mason jars over there to give as teacher um a teacher gift and a bus driver gift and i filled it with hershey kisses it was super easy super inexpensive and it was so cute. So um, I went, when I went to Target, I saw these teeny tiny little mason jars. And I cannot wait. First I saw this one. It's small jar, clear. And of course it's glass. And it's a really nice size. So this is in my hand. It's like that. So um, I saw um, a recipe online for a teacher gift that I wanted to give. But I need to wait and fill the teacher out a little bit before I start doing all that extra, extra stuff. 
So um, this and that was one dollar. But this little set is three dollars, and they're mini jars. And look how tiny. I mean, and look how tiny that is. And I have the perfect thing that I'm gonna do with this, and I'll share with you later. I don't wanna. I don't want to give out any details at the moment, but you will see. So I bought two of them, and they actually say Mason on there, and they're so tiny. I love these. Anyway, I had to. I had to. I had to. And you can chalk on them and stuff, but I'm covering it with paper and ribbon. So, But, yeah, these were super good deals. My last stop was at the Halloween section. They had these burlap chalk tags over there. They're super cute. Um, nice little labeling system if you're trying to get back organized from the summer mayhem. Um, so this is very good good to have um, if you're doing like your dollar bins and you're labeling. These are really good to have that. I use a white permanent walk marker, not a chalk marker, and they looked spectacular on here. Okay, I also got these super cute glassine bags. You get four for one dollar, and then there's tons of different designs. I like this black skeleton because I purchased this black skeleton ribbon from Michaels a little bit ago, and I thought that they would match perfectly. I ended up not using the ribbon, but I did use the bags. And then I bought um, this black tool. They had orange and white tool. You get, I think it's 36, um, it's three feet. Yeah. So 36 inches of this black tool for $1, or this is $3. And then I purchased these gift tags. They were $1. And you get six gift tags. And it's three in this design. I'm trying to avoid the glare. And then three in this design. And there were a couple different options for tags. So there was some glitter black CB type tags. Really cute stuff. So I thought that matched with what I was going to do with the swap. Um, so I got those. I also got two of these glar glars, glitter jars really cute they're a dollar and then I got some um, jute twine and this black and gold I got some metallic ribbon two in gold and two in black and they were a dollar and I got two of these um, twisted cords you get three yards and that's orange and black and they had different colors of that as well and then finally I got some um, washi tape they call it paper tape but it's washi sticky sticky tape and it works really well great adhesive so that's from the Halloween dollar spot or er, so that was from the Halloween section at the Target bullseye and then I left Target and then um, I started working on my tags which I will put together momentarily let me share with you um, what I picked up um, from the Dollar Tree really quick because this is all I got. I got two packages of the Skeleton Garland um, for my packaging. So um, they're a dollar, of course, from the Dollar Tree. And they came in handy. They add that extra little touch to set it aside from just being in a glassine bag. Although the glassine bag is decorative and it's super cute. So that's what I got from um, the Dollar Tree. All right, let's clear this off and I'm going to show you guys some digital paper. Okay, a lot of you were asking me where I got the file to make my pocket letter cards. Um, and this is what my cards, they range. Of course, they look, they range in these six different choices. But this is how my um, card turned out. You guys saw this in the video when I swap, when I uh, started the swap. But look at that shimmer on there. Super cute. And then that's the information on the back according to the rules of the swap. So um, I got them. I put the link to that shop in the description box, but it's the Digital Collage Club.com. I got off of Etsy, and I purchased these these Halloween cards from there. And then I'm not sure if this is the same digital company because they don't have their name on here, but I'll show you the paper, and I also will put the link. If it's one link, then you know I got it for all from that shop. And then this is the paper. It's eight by eight. So that's what I use on my um, pocket letter card. A few different designs. It's a vintage feel. This is like skeletons. This is pumpkins. I think that's repeating itself. I only printed out a couple of them. Here's one. I really like that one. So 
there's um there were quite a few that came in there but I only printed out what I wanted obviously um, I don't want to print out anything I'm not going to use but if you're interested in that you can check the description box for this link all right this is how my packaging came out so I am in a group obviously you have to a group of nine so I make eight keep one for myself but this is how they tank they came out see how cute these tags look and the glassine bags like they just add this extra pop like I love I love them so um, I'm almost done I'm gonna put one together with you guys but they're super cute let me show you so you have the this is what I use that garland for from the Dollar Tree and yeah if you guys remember a long time ago I was doing something like this and it was Henry we had to we had to you know take some of his body parts off so this is his cousin Jacob and we had to do the same so um yeah and I just put you know my name and their name recipients name on the back of there wrapped it with some tool really quick packaging but super cute effective short and sweet so let's put one together now I have um my card left out it's mine so I have kind of the pieces what we had to do was we had to add a little goodie in the back of the pocket letter card and I wanted to make sure I had enough room for everything so I'm glad these uh, glassine bags you have four of them four four dollars is a good deal of course I'd like to see more but four four dollar because I need two packs so it worked perfectly so what I did was make sure my stuff is in here these are some really nice texture bags I like them I think I may go back and get something that's not so Halloweeny and see if I can cover it up or something but I just put my card in there and then my goodie in this one now all of my goodies vary and all of none of them are the exact same so like I said shop your stash and I'm putting two different colors of ribbon in here and then everyone has um, a bag of the Halloween gems, Halloween color gems. So it's orange, black, and then the diamond, diamond-esque color. I just folded this back here, like so. And then I'm going to add some washi tape. I had some, um, I had some regular like scotch tape on the front of the rest of the cards but I do I did those on location and I didn't bring the scotch tape with me and of course I don't have any here but this special one will just get some washi tape I'm just going to adhere this down half on the front it's so hard to do it in this angle half on the front and then we're going to fold it over So it can be serve as a, a closure piece so it doesn't the goods don't fall out. And then we're just gonna cut off the extra. That's cute. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of the um, tool. Before I do that, I'm gonna add some washi or paper tape. And I use six of these little pumpkins. They were so cute. I wish they had this I wish I had these things in their collection all the time like offer this glitter tape offer these bags and different themes but I wish they had it available like that all the time so I put these cute little pumpkins back here and then I added some um, and then I added some tool I just took the tool and I cut it in half and cut it in half again because it's one big long fat quarter so yeah you just cut it and cut it so that made them into cute little strips and then I'm just tying this in a knot and then a quick bow really easy as nice and even even as possible and then this tag I'm using this one this happens to be for boxy bell 
And then we're going to take our last skeleton. I'm so glad there were four on here. I only needed to get two packages. And there are none over. No overages. Okay. And then we're going to have to take off Jacob's legs. He didn't want to let that one go. All right, and then I thread it through the tag, really easy. Tied in a knot so that it hangs and it doesn't give the recipient five layers to go through to get to their swap. I'm just gonna cut off a little bit here. And then I'm gonna take a little piece of this orange trim. And thread it through. Just tied it underneath at an angle from the top into a quick knot. Cut off some of this extra here. All right, Jacob, stand still there. There we go. Super cute packaging. Has some something uh, of interest for the recipient. So I hope you guys like that. Um, maybe try that with some different colors, some different designs of your own. Check out the Dollar Spot, the Target, Bullseye. Check out those links for Etsy. Um, yeah, have some fun. Like the video if you like it, guys. It's free. And leave a comment and let me know what you think. Talk to you guys later. Bye.